James McGinn. Guys, we had a crazy trade that I cannot wait to tell you guys about. And one of my very favorite candies from my childhood is watching the channel now, and they sent us some stuff to try. Make sure to stick around to see it. Mrs. Retro, what are you doing right now? I am putting Pokemon cards into the system. Pokemon cards. Look oh, yeah. at all Pokemon. these. Sorry. Look at all these. You got a Charizard. I don't want to get them out of order for her, but a Zapdos. A Blastoise EX. What, what's been the most valuable card so far? Has there been a decently valuable or not really anything? Not really. Yeah, like five ten. to ten. Okay, and then we also got our new, where's our pieces? Our little stands. Oh, so basically yeah. we are upgrading our Pokemon case. We're gonna switch over to a bigger case because Pokemon singles are just doing that well. And this yeah. is what they look like. You have the other one too, so they can see mm -hmm. the like before difference. and after. So. They go in there like that, and they look awesome. This yeah, was yeah. the previous variation of this. It looks great, but it definitely looks 3D printed, which is not a bad thing. Our 3D print guy, yeah, Corey. Corey. Corey the, the Magnificent. Oh, Ooh. rip. He uh, has a new 3D printer, and it looks a little bit cleaner. So, oh, so smooth. It's going to be good. I've already ordered a ton. You told me... We've been talking about doing more Pokemon stuff, so I spent the better part of two hours last night ordering more Pokemon stuff to put in the big case yeah. to make it Pokemon heavy. So, awesome. Thanks, babe. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Love you. Love you. Christina um, basically did... Ooh, where's our other shirt? I don't know where our other shirt is. Oh, it's, down oh, it's hung up. It's hung up. So, uh, Christina used to work at Michael's, so she has, like, experience doing a lot of this framing stuff, and we have another shirt that she just did can we see what it looks like oh it's in like a it's like an opened oh, oh. oh. so this was a part of the just protecting it while i was being transported okay look at the nintendo power shirt guys oh it's gonna look so good on the wall she did a great job look at this look at this precision guys look at this and that's just the front cover so We'll take that guy off and we'll show that to you here in a minute. There it is, looks so good. So, gotta figure out where to put that. I've got a couple more shirts that are vintage Nintendo shirts that I wanna put up. I'm actually thinking about having them like displayed downstairs, like a bunch of them in order. That looks so good, I love it. Two things to show y'all. First of all, I bought something off of Pixel Game Squad and I can't remember what this is exactly, but I like the, um, the note I got from Riff, it says, your wife is way out of your league, Jesus. Jesus said that. Okay. <laughs> All right, I got two. No, it's gotta be true then. I got two wild things. This first one is a 1989 Ooh. Legend of Zelda corduroy hat, which that's nutty. Like I've never seen it before and was stoked about that. And then I got also got a, I believe it's a Super Nintendo, Promo piece. Let's see. Let's see. Look at this. It I, it's, it looks like a woman's watch, but Super Nintendo, Super Mario World. I don't know exactly why I'm a sucker for anything promo. So I got that, and I know my wife is out of my league. I'm completely aware. Okay, we also got all this from Big League Chew. So my life is complete, guys. On my Instagram right now, which if you're not following me on Instagram, check it out. We put up stuff all the time that is not seen in stores, but Warheads and Big League Chew are following me. Is my life complete? I think that's it. Pretty sure. I, I think that's it. Anyway, we are gonna try some swinging sour apple right there. Thank you to Big League Chew for sending this out. And we're going biggest bubble? Yes. Biggest bubble? All right. Remember this? Remember how it was all stringy? Oh yeah. The dugout of the Little League. How much gum am I allowed? Ooh, that tastes good. And we can do it at the same time. See who's bigger. <laughs> oh, fresh. That looks cringe face. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> see what you got, Joe. Anything's better than that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I definitely 
won that. Round two. Round, okay. What are you doing? I saw attention. <laughs> you jerk. Redeem yourself. Was that a good size? <laughs> it was good there. Uh. Wow. Oh, I forfeit. I sabotage. No, you win. You already won. So my friend Tyler, he actually gifted me this card right here. Here's his stupid face right there. He's been in. The, he's been in a couple of videos. Tyler is a good friend of mine. Helped me get the whole YouTube thing started. Um, well, he gifted me this card. I actually actually think there's a clip of it. Thanks. No. <laughs> now, it's it's not a nine. I know you like nines, but I did the best I could with my budget. So I look forward to you selling that on your whatnot. So he gifted me this and it has provoked a, um, another slight, we'll call, it, we'll call it an obsession. All right, Michael Jordan graded baseball cards. So we got the gold edition. This is actually a really good one. My idea with all these is basically to put them in, they make these frames that hold graded cards and then to display that somewhere as well. Display, 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 display. Okay, so here we go. We got Michael Jordan 1994 Upper Deck. It's got that foil look. Oh, there it is. We've got the SP, which one is, that's sick. It's always hard to grade these because of those edges. You got, this one's probably my favorite. This is the Central Region one. And then just a bunch more of Michael Jordan uh, baseball cards. What a weird thing to collect. But that is what I'm here for, to collect the weird stuff. So we had one of the craziest trade-ins that I think we've ever had into the store. So this is more of a reenactment because the person is already long gone and what they traded in has already sold. They traded in a PS5. So our reenactment is this beautiful PS5 right here. This is a special edition variant. Um, very rarely do you see the PS3 and the PS2 combo. So this is uh, our version of the PS5 because our PS5s sell instantly. We have like a wait list for PS5s. But basically what happened is this guy came in and he traded in a PS5 for a Virtual Boy. Okay, we are just again using my, my Virtual Boy uh, as a display. But how crazy is that? It's so cool and like, interesting. To think, to think somebody was like, he tried it. He was like, I, I did it. I just am more of a retro gamer and collector. And he traded in a PS5. He got more than just the than just the Virtual Boy as well. But it was so cool to see that, to see him walk in and trade. And it's like, wait, whenever has somebody traded the PS5 for, for a Virtual Boy? I think it has been the first time ever. Who has ever done that? No way that's ever happened before, right? No. So cool, dude. So, um, PS5 is sold immediately. He's happy with his virtual boy, which is crazy to say. And where else can you do that? Trade in a new thing for an old thing, or vice versa, an old thing for a new thing. And that's kind of the dream, man. Like, when we open the store to think, like, I want to create an opportunity for people to trade in stuff, to be able to get new stuff, or vice versa. People, people come in all the time, and they're like, man, I want a PS4 again. I'd love to have a PS4, and I'm like, you got any old stuff? Trade it in, man. And people come in like, I got these old NES games. Are they worth anything? I'm like, you'd be surprised. So here we are sitting, not anymore, because we sold it already with a PS5 for our virtual boy. It's crazy. Killer handheld trade in uh, just came in, which is good because we are needing handhelds. I don't know what it is about handhelds. Maybe it's just. Christina, I'm filming. Maybe maybe it's the whole like portable aspect. Probably it. A lot of the friggin' Gen Zers like Game Boys and stuff like that. But we have a nice arrangement of Game Boys, OG Game Boys. This one right here is actually modded. So that one looks it's pretty sick. Got a CIB DSi. This one's probably my favorite. This is a GBA that's backlit and it has the rechargeable battery. I'm like super tempted to keep that. A couple Game Boy Pockets, this translucent GBA is pretty rad as well. And then a couple Game Gears. So, pretty rad to get all those over here. I'm gonna get by a rip right quick at them. Got all of those in there. And then if somehow you can see all of those, we actually have two GBA Micros, which is kind of crazy. So, handheld section is looking good. All right, why are you so excited right now? <laughs> what do you have? 
the uh, master edition of Breath of the Wild? That's that is the spicy meatball. So those, if I'm not mistaken, sell anywhere from like seven fifty to a thousand, right there for this. And what did you what did you trade in for this? This entire bucket. Is this hard for you? Because I saw a lot of Harvest Moon, and you are the Harvest Moon girl too. You're well, you are. Your Zelda and your Harvest Moon. Was this hard or not really? There were some things that were a little harder to part with. Mainly like some of the like 3DS Harvest Moon games. Mm. Oh, God. oh yeah, yeah. Stadium 2. But you really, really wanted this. <laughs> yeah. And now you have it. Congratulations. <laughs> She's so happy. So it's actually pretty late right now. We just finished up a whatnot show. Had some pretty cool pieces in here, including the... Super Fighter. Yeah, that's weird. This is like an off brand Street Fighter little handheld. We had this right here. Look at this. This is signed by a bunch of the Sonic voices from I think 1996 and on. And then just, you know, your good stuff. N64 games, PS2 games, and a bunch of other things. Adam is wrapping it up over there. We got a nice little, got a nice little new uh, buffer for, for up here. It's cool to have, a little extra one. But it is late. Tomorrow's Friday, got some pretty fire trades coming in. So make sure you're uh, sticking around for that. And I think that's it. Joel, what are you doing down there, man? Going home. All right, me too. Guys, that's it. Don't forget, never stop playing.